555 on this event floor. And now we're up to Taryn Humphrey. And this is only her third time competing this event. The pressure's on this Olympian. And you saw just a moment ago, Taryn with a little bit of a stumble on her dismount from beam. So we'll see maybe some of that Olympic character come through here of just having to put it behind you and move on to the next event. We've talked about the intensity and the energy that comes with this competition, and quite often an athlete can be overcome with that adrenaline. Maybe that's what we're seeing from Alabama. That's why we're seeing a lot of their landings over-rotated. So important to compete exactly the way that you do it in the gym. Taryn's opening pass, a big one, a piked full in. Not a problem on her landing there. Showing off that Olympic experience. And we're going to see some of that elite level Difficulty here. Two and a half twist, punch front. Championship teams will find a way to step up even when things haven't gone their way. Alabama having to count one of those out of bounds deductions. Their first two competitors, everyone else must step up here. a little bit more of that classical dance. You can see the interesting shoes that she has on her feet. They're more like rhythmic gymnastic shoes and it helps her when she does a lot of her turning elements. Only third time competing this routine. Big difficulty at the end, huge. A one and a half twist to a two and a half. An excellent comeback just when Alabama needs it. Wow, Taryn Humphrey stepping up, as you said, just the third time all season. She has competed on the floor, but she knew her team needed a big score, and she went out there to try to get it. I've talked about those big double layout skills. This is the same level of difficulty, the piked full in. A full twist in the first rotation, two saltos in the piked rotation. A great routine and a big score. Big, big for sure. 9-9 nine, nine ties a season.